Greetings, everybody. It's your old pal Frank here, and happy Friday. TGIF, folks. We made it through the week, and now it's time to cruise on into the weekend. So, yes, as you can see, we are starting today's video off old school style, facing forward. And that is because uh, I just got in not too long ago. I was out all day, uh, managed to complete all of my Christmas shopping, spent the most money um, today than I did all year. And part of that is due to a huge purchase I made on eBay this morning. But I am happy. I, I've taken care of everything before making said purchase. So I was cool with it. And the purchase I made on eBay this morning contains a huge, and I mean huge, grail card. It's right up there with my Carl Yastrzemski rookie card. It's on that level. So uh, when that card gets here, I can't wait to show it to you guys. And um, yeah, took care of everything else. So all is good. And um, while I was taking care of stuff today, I was at Walmart. And while I was there, I picked up another upper deck uh, mega box. But this time around, instead of doing uh, 21, 22, we're doing 22, 23. Uh, there are still a couple young guns in here I'm hunting. Uh, but the big one uh, that I would love to pull is, of course, Mr. Uh, Pietor Kolchekov, the goalie for Carolina, who just loves to get under Brady Kachuk's skin. So, hoping to pull his young gun today. Uh, be cool to pull another Matty Beneers. Uh, another Matt Boldy. I still need the Marco uh, Marco Rossi. So, uh, or or is it the Matt Boldy I need and Marco Rossi I have? Vice versa. One of the two. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. There's still a couple uh, biggies to pull out of uh, Series 1. So, figured, what the heck. It's Friday. Let's go for it. As well, I'm very happy that I was able to pick up one of these today. Got my 2023 Holiday Mega Box. So uh, make sure to tune in on Christmas Day because myself and my brother will be ripping into this. Hoping to pull one of those uh, Santa Claus super, super uh, short prints. Um, specifically, the one in the 65 Tops design. I already put the whole subset on my want list on Trading Card Database. And then I go and look on eBay and find out how expensive those damn Santa Claus cards are. <sighs> you live and you learn, I guess. <laughs> but, um, yeah, gonna, gonna see if we get lucky and pull one. Actually, if anything, it'll probably be my brother who pulls it. Because if you remember last year, when I opened my 2022 Holiday Mega Box, uh, my brother's the one who pulled the Julio rookie card. So, eh, maybe he has the golden touch and maybe he could pull a super short print or something. Who knows? But tune in on Christmas Day if you're able to, of course. And, um, yeah, my brother and I will be ripping into this while enjoying some eggnog. And uh, it's going to be a fun time. Also, uh, I picked up one of these today on a complete whim. A Disney Lorcana uh, trading card booster pack. Now, I know what you're saying. This, this is right up uh, Old Man Games Alley. Which, don't get me wrong, I agree 100%. In fact, I do not recall seeing him rip into any of this stuff. But then again, I can be wrong and come to find out he probably ripped a whole hobby box of it or something. But if you're wondering why I myself, a relative Disney fan, I'm not a super fan or anything, but, you know, I, I do enjoy Disney here and there. Uh, if you're wondering why I haven't ripped into any of this stuff, 
it is for one reason and one reason only. And don't get me wrong, it's probably going to sound very, very trivial. In fact, um, I saw the other day that Topps is doing a Topps Chrome Disney 100 set. Looks awesome. But again, there's one specific character missing in that set that has me going, Ugh, why? In Lorcana, there are villain cards. There are villains from Captain Hook right up to Maleficent. Human form and dragon form. Apparently the dragon form is the more sought after card. Anyway. But there is one Disney character that is not in either of those sets. And I think, especially Topps Chrome, this character would look phenomenal. And that character is freaking Chernabog. Now I know some of you out there watching may be going, who the heck is Chernabog? The old school guys know. To find out who Chernabog is, you gotta go back and watch Fantasia. And in that movie, there is a specific scene where this huge, winged, clawed, red-eyed, horned demon comes out of the mountaintop and looks menacing as all hell. It's friggin' metal, and he's just all black and like purplish blue and just oh so cool looking that chernabog and there is no chernabog card in lorcana i checked the checklist there is no chernabog in the tops chrome and yes i am standing here on my soapbox complaining that there isn't any and i want them to make a card of him <laughs> There are custom cards out there, but I want a legit one. There is a Chernabog Funko Pop, which is on my radar. There is a Chernabog Funko um, Soda Pop figurine with a chase, both on my radar. And a little while back, Funko put out um, Disney Villains uh, minifigures. And there's a Chernabog in that set. I have four of those boxes sitting in my filing cabinet that have not been opened yet. I've been waiting to see if maybe some of you out there would be interested to see me rip those on here and see if we can get the Chernabog figure. So, anyway, just putting that out there. So, um, if we have time after ripping into this, we'll see what we get out of this. Or if we don't have time, maybe I'll save this for a short or whatever. But, um, yeah, time's a-wasting. But, of course, you guys know the routine around here. Before we uh, open anything or even start anything, we need a card of the day. And today's card of the day is a mini from Allen & Ginter. This year's Allen & Ginter, to be precise. It is one of the uh, only in uh, minis. And uh, today... If I could get this on my stand properly. We're going to Chicago. That's right. So shout out to all the awesome YouTubers out there from Chicago, from the Windy City. We got the um, the the pinwheels out in center field. I think it's center field. Anyway, so um, all right. Now that we got our card of the day, let's move our holiday box out of the way. Let's get Buck, and uh, let's get to ripping. Oh, say hi to everyone, Buck. <laughs> uh, also, um, in the wise words of one Mr. Brandon Jensen, I do have my penny sleeves at the ready, so I am hoping that I can pull some fire out of this box. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not holding my breath. 
but um, that's a scary sign. That looks like it's been tampered with. Uh, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on a second. Talk amongst yourselves. Gotta do some counting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, the the exclusive pack counts as ten. Okay, all the packs are here. So uh, usually I save this for last, but uh, let's let's just bust into this first, get it out of the way, see what we can get out of here. All right, Jordan Spence, Maddie Beneers, very nice, and is that a Hold on a second. No, okay. I thought it was a I thought it was a red. Uh, and we got Matt Boldy. Okay. So that is my second Matty Beneers die cut rookie I've pulled. And it will also be going up on Trading Card Database for trade. So if anyone needs one, uh, there is a link. To my tra uh, trading card database profile here on YouTube, so go check it out. All right, we're just gonna blow through the the uh, base here, and our first pack is a base pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Wow. At least it starts off with a hab, so that's cool. <laughs> All right. Next pack. Okay, we'll just open them that way then. All right. So we got here. Our first young gun is Mr. Vladislav. Oh, boy. Vladislav Kolyachonok. Kol Kolyachonok. Kol we got a young gun. <laughs> and there's the rest of your uh, base. Okay. So I think since these are the mega boxes, I think we're guaranteed two young guns. I think uh, these felt like they were sticking. Okay. Uh, ba, da, 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 da. We got a portrait of Sidney Crosby. Let's go. Okay. What a what a shootout the other night <laughs> between them and Montreal. They were, I think, um, how many rounds away from breaking the record? I think it went 12 rounds, and the record is, what, 14, I think? I'm not sure. It almost happened. Anyway. All right. What do we got in here? Ooh, we got one of these freestyles. I think these are Mega Box exclusive. I think. And it's uh, Mr. Andrei Svechnikov. Shout out to... W. Vogs. I know he's a big Carolina Hurricanes fan. Okay. Let's keep this going here. They all want to seem to open that way. Huh. Okay. Let's see here. We got a defense mechanism. Of Mr. Vince Dunn of the Kraken. And then, hey, Jake Evans, nice. All right. That's that. So we got four packs left, folks. We're almost done. Don't worry. I'll get through this, and then you could be on your merry way. <laughs> All right. I'm sensing a young gun, and it's Frederick. 
Karlstrom. Well, I can say this. I don't think I have either of these guys. So that may be for the best because I am still trying to obviously complete this series on Young Gun set. So, okay. I think we still need a Dazzler. Um, I think we still need a Canvas. Uh, oh, what do we got here? We got a Rookie Retrospective of Mr. Tanner Janot. Ooh, Rainbow Foily. <laughs> and then some more base. Okay. Watch the corners. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, we got a third young gun. I think we just beat the odds on this box. Very nice. Mr. Zach Hayes. And some more base. Wow. Three young guns. I'm impressed. Can we pull a fourth? No, I doubt it. This is probably going to be our Dazzler. Right? Or or maybe? I don't know. Uh, no, it's it's a canvas of Thatcher Demko. That's nice. I like that. Now, unfortunately, I, I don't do the base canvas cards anymore. Uh, so, it is for trade. And actually, I was thinking I uh, I might actually uh, thin it out even more and uh, stop doing the Young Gun canvas cards too and just try and get all the um, retired canvas players, like the, the Hall of Famers and that, because um, I, I noticed it is, it is getting tough to um, acquire both the Young Gun and Young Gun Canvas sets. So uh, in the near future, I, I might start adding my, what Young Gun Canvas cards I have to my trading card database um, profile as well. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout if you have checked out my uh, trading card database uh, page in the past. So anyway that's all we got time for today this is uh 17 plus minutes so uh this Lorcana pack will be for another day anyway folks we managed to pull three young guns out of today's mega box i think that's pretty damn good so uh i hope you enjoyed today's video uh if you did uh you know the routine smash that like button drop down below leave a comment and then, of course, before leaving, uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. But if you'd like, make sure to click that big old subscribe button. Uh, as well, click the bell next to it so it notifies you when my videos go live. Uh, if, if you want some uh, good viewing tonight, uh, my good buddy Rip over on the uh, Rip Em All channel, uh, I believe, is doing a... Uh, artifacts hobby box rip I think he's doing that tonight I'm not 100% sure but uh, if so make sure to go check it out I will leave a link in the uh, in the description below to his channel he's an awesome guy um, if you haven't checked out his channel before crawl out from under the rock <laughs> just kidding just kidding but uh, yeah awesome channel go check him out Give them all the love, subscribe, comment, thumbs up, everything. You know the routine. And, um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. So, you guys have a great remaining Friday. Have an awesome weekend. And I will see you back here on Monday where, yeah, we'll open some mail. I feel comfortable saying that because I got to actually open some product today. So, Anyway, so till then, folks, I say to all of you, laters!